It's another beautiful day the Lord has given us. This is the Jam 316 Devotional Hour. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is James Sokumu Nikisema Karibu Sana. Psalms 105, give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of his wondrous acts, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. I like verse 4, it says, Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Psalms 105, verse 1, 2, 3, and 4, beginning us off today as we celebrate this brand new day. It is Furahi Day. Sikuya Furaha, as I like to call it. This week we have been talking about things to overcome in 2023. We wrap up the series this morning as we talk about overcoming procrastination. Procrastination, excuses, fear, they are intertwined. Proverbs 24, verse 31 to 34. I went by the field of the lazy man and by the vineyard of the man devoid of understanding. And there it was all overgrown with thorns. Its surface was covered with nestles. Its stone wall was broken down. When I saw it, I considered it well. I looked on it and received instruction. This is verse 33 and 34, very important. A little slip, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. So shall your poverty come like a prowler and your need like an armed man. Hmm. Procrastination. There's a statement and a quote I was taught from very, a very young age. It says, don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. There's another one that says, yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is only a dream. What we have is today and now. Get it done while you still can. Procrastination. We've all been there. Many of us struggle in this area. We keep putting off what we need to do. I'll do it tomorrow. What you said you will do tomorrow, tomorrow is now. <laughs> I was thinking about this and I thought, I think the deception in procrastination is the fact that you haven't said no. You haven't said you will not do it. It's just that you never quite get to doing it. And the fact that you haven't said no becomes the deception. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Assuming you'll be there tomorrow. Let me ask you something. What is that one thing you've been putting off to do for long? Something you know you need to do. But for some reason you just keep putting it off. What is that thing? Things to overcome in 2023. Overcoming procrastination. Mchungaji Kohapa. Pastor Sami, good morning. Amen. You're well? I'm well. I thank God. Imagine it's Friday. Can you imagine? The week just... And that's how the year will... Imagine. <laughs> January is gone. January is gone. Yeah, January may 11 more months to go. Yeah, some people are saying in January. <laughs> I've never had a January in my life because that is not my confession. Yeah. And here we are thanking God. It can never be our confession mm. because we live by faith. Yeah. And our faith should be rewarded. Mm. Our God, mm. our Father must be respected. Yes. He is a God of faith. Mm. He does not let down his children. He doesn't. He always comes through for them. I'm telling you. Amen. And thank you so much, Pastor, for having me here Amen. this week. Amen. It's I've been wonderful. I've enjoyed myself. It's mm. been powerful. Yes. And I thank God also for the viewers that have tu tuned in. Mm -hmm. I hope they've been blessed. Awesome. Amen. Overcoming procrastination. Mm. Hey, Basil, let me tell you something. Let me make yes. a confession on this one. Yeah. I'm part of this group. We started last year. Yes. There's a friend of mine who started this group because yes. the backstory is that he he i think he read somewhere or he talked to somebody and uh -huh. this person was telling him how mm. he has got friends this is an old man yes i think in his 80s yeah and he was saying how he has a group of friends they have been friends from childhood mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. get together once a week for bible study mm. yeah so they keep reading through the bible mm. they begin by month one mm. one verse or one mm. one chapter mm. you know and every day they have things they yeah yeah they write down. yes mm. 
Month two, yes. two chapters. Yes. You graduate. Month three, three chapters. Uh -huh. Month four, four chapters like that. So every month you keep, uh, you keep adding the, yeah, the yeah. chapters. So we began last year. Mm -hmm. So now we are on uh, month four. Yes. Four chapters every day. Yes. This week has been one of those weeks <laughs> for me. <laughs> Procrastination galore, I'm telling you. Yeah. So Monday I say, you know what? I'll mm. catch up tomorrow. Mm. So Monday I didn't read my four chapters. Mm -hmm. I said the same thing on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I said the same thing on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I said the same thing yesterday. Yes. So I have 16 chapters to catch up. Oh, Lord Jesus. Simply because I kept pushing off for tomorrow. Yes. What I ought to have done on D-Day. Yes. So... Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> <laughs> now we will not even look at the Bible. We will not look at all these scriptures we prepared. We will use you should as I, a case study. <laughs> should I kneel down? <laughs> <laughs> After this, you should also send an SMS. I'm telling you. you so this is what this I did morning, I was you. telling myself, wow. Yeah. Mm. Now it's even, if I add for today, that's 20 chapters. I need to catch up. Mm. I need to catch up by, by before Sunday, I should have caught up with everybody. Oh, no, Jesus. Because it keeps piling. So on Sunday, it will be how many chapters? By Sunday, it will be 12 plus 16. 28. But you can do a few today. Lazima. Leo. Ata kama itabi indication takesha. Na leo unitumie, unitumie notes. Unitumie notes. If my friend Alex Shianda is listening in, Alex, I've made my confession on on live TV and radio, so have mercy on me. Yes. Yes. Do you know, mm. uh, child of God, uh, you that is listening in this morning, and of course we are here with the man of God. In the realm of God, mm -hmm. procrastination is interpreted as sin. Ooh, yes. Yes. That's why I said. In the realm of God, uh -huh. God sees procrastination mm. as sin. So, the, <laughs> the one committing adultery, the one committing fornication, mm the one committing all other manner of sins that you may think are big, and the one procrastinating yes. are all in the law. Oh. And that is James chapter 4, verse 17. Mm. Let's go there. James chapter 4. Mm. It had to be the book of James. It had to be James. I'll get after Kavasko. Kuna ingine pale nimeona ya Proverbs. Lakini yo tutajugu. Au kuona na mi nimeenda devotion kwa Proverbs. Ni ama ni me avoid James. Yes. James chapter? James chapter 4 mm -hmm. verse 17. Okay. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Therefore to him who knows to do good mm. and does not do it mm. to him it is sin. Mm. Yeah. Wow. To that person that knows the good they should do. Yes. And then they go ahead and say mm. I'll do it tomorrow. Mm. I'll do it next year. Yes. I'll visit the children's home mm. next week. Yes. Next month. And I know people may, 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 may say they are going to do this thing because mm. sometimes because of commitments. Mm. But uh, for how long will you keep on pressing the yeah. snooze, snooth button? Mm -hmm. mm, the snooze button. I like that. The snooze button. Yeah. No, but he said something when I was sharing the devotion. And for yes, me, yes. this hit me hard. Mm. Is that... I think the greatest deception in procrastination yeah. is the fact that you haven't said no. Aha. Uh -huh. Because You've not I haven't made up said your mind. No. I will do it. Yes. Just not today. <laughs> so yes. in my mind, yeah. I haven't said no. Yeah. In fact, I'm better off than the person who said no. Yes. Yes. Because I haven't refused. Yes. And so if if I, I put myself in a situation where somebody has promised you something they mm -hmm. will do for you. Mm -hmm. They haven't said no, they said I will do it. Yes. But now, I'd rather the person who's refused, yes. because then I start looking for other options. That's right. As opposed to the person who hasn't refused, mm. but they never get to they do it. They never do it. So they build up your hope and they disappoint you. They Can build you up your hope and they disappoint you. Can you imagine? That's a vicious cycle. It's man. a vis vicious cycle, and I think that is what even our politicians do, God forbid. Mm. Yes. Yeah. They build up the hopes of the people. Yes. And then for five years, we they keep saying it will be done, mm. it will be done, it will be done, and it is never done. But I also believe as believers, mm -hmm. like we were sharing earlier on of here, that s most of the people, uh, believers actually, mm -hmm. we all procrastinated at some point. Oh, yeah. And God forgave us. That is why I think after salvation, 
Salvation actually means when you come to Jesus, mm. you're forgiven your sins, mm. right? So all of us procrastinated at some point because when I look at Second Corinthians, mm -hmm. chapter six, verse two, it says, "For he says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you, and in the day of salvation, I have helped you." Behold, mm. now is the accepted time. No. Behold, no. now is the day of salvation. Yes. <laughs> and you are all there one day. One day. Leo. Si leo. Yeah. Si leo. I, leo. I hear leo. you. I accept. But yes. Not today. Yeah, same not thing, today. Man of thing. God, not yeah. today. Yet you are needed to say yes to the Lord mm. so that he can use you to fulfill his purpose. And I also looked at uh, Hebrews chapter mm. 2. Uh, Hebrews chapter 2. Is it verse, verse 3? Mm -hmm. You know. Of course, connecting it with Second Corinthians yes. chapter six. Yes. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a, a salvation, salvation, which at first began to be spoken by the Lord mm -hmm. and was confirmed to us by those who had Him? You know, mm. you know why God sees procrastination as sin. It is because when you delay to do something, yeah. God had meant that when you do it at that appointed time, He was going to use that particular thing so that it can become a blessing to other people. Mm. And Point of Grace sang a song in the Esther years and they said, God loves people more than anything. More than anything. Mm. He would rather die than let them go. Mm. So especially us that are called to serve people, and I believe that all of us, even yeah. where you are, we are called to serve people. Right, true. Life is all about people. Life is all about making decisions mm. so that others can get blessed, so that the doors of other people can be opened. Imagine you are a boss somewhere. The Lord is asking you to open this particular door mm. so that this girl can travel. And when she travels, your company will be blessed mm. to that nation where maybe she has gone to work for a few weeks and come back. Yeah. And also other people will be blessed in her family. Mm. But now you keep on postponing, postponing it. You keep on saying it cannot happen. Yeah. It will not be done today. Yeah. So you delay so many things yes. when you procrastinate. Ooh. You delay the destinies of people. There's a spiral effect. Exactly. I hear there was a meeting in heaven and they were asked who is going down to save mankind. Mm. And Jesus said, I'll go. Mm -hmm. And Jesus stood up and Jesus came. Imagine if he would have said, I'm not going. Mm. I'll go next year. Mm. I'll go after 2,000 years. Mm. 2,000 years later, here we are today, yes. we wouldn't have been saved. Wow. So don't just look at procrastination as a normal thing, mm -hmm. as something that is you just bypass, something that yes. you just ignore. When the Lord speaks to you, there is what is called the Kairos moment. Mm -hmm. When the Lord speaks to you, the now moment, mm. act and do it. If the Lord impresses upon your heart to do a particular thing, thing yes. do it at that moment. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do it, and then now you have to go around again. Yes. You have to go around again. Go look around at, the mountain one yeah, more time. Yeah, look at, look at, look at somebody like uh, Zacchaeus. Mm -hmm. Zacchaeus knew that he couldn't see Christ mm. because he was a short man yes. and there were so many people around him. Mm. But Zacchaeus ran to the sycamore tree. Mm. When I look at the sycamore tree, who had planted the sycamore tree? Mm. How we, we don't hear about the sycamore tree after the encounter of Christ with Zacchaeus yeah. when he went to his house and Zacchaeus got saved. Mm. We don't hear anything else about the sycamore tree. And mm. this is what I want to say. There is what is called the hour mm. of the Lord's visitation. Mm -hmm. Most of us are postponing the hour of the Lord's visitation. Imagine if Zacchaeus didn't go to that sycamore tree. Yes. Imagine if Zacchaeus didn't climb that sycamore tree. Mm -hmm. Zacchaeus would not have been born again. Mm. And what he needed to do, return the money and everything that he had stolen from the people, he wouldn't have returned mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But he went ahead of the people, he climbed the tree, and yeah. there he met his savior. Imagine if he would have postponed it and said, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe another day. Kirudi, yeah. Exactly. And when you look at procrastination, <laughs> you discover there is fear uh -huh. in procrastination. Mm -hmm. There are ex excuses mm -hmm. in procrastination. There is discouragement because anytime mm. you procrastinate, you mm. get discouraged. You get discu yes. Yeah. You get discouraged. Mm. There is discouragement in procrastination. Mm. And then when you procrastinate, you fail. I'm telling you. So we have done all these four days.
in the week yes. and now here we are telling you that you can't say tomorrow again this yes. is the day of salvation the lord is calling us today is the tomorrow you said yesterday can you imagine <laughs> that is so powerful yes that jana is so kesho. yes leo ndio kesho ulisema jana uh -huh. yeah. Kwa hivyo fanya leo. I'm telling you. Praise God. Laziness is also in there. Yes. Yeah. Laziness is all oh, 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 laziness is everywhere. Uh, laziness. So, <laughs> why? But see why do we especially things that God tells us to do, especially mm -hmm. things if it's things that maybe don't make sense. Yes. Or we don't know how people will react. Mm. Why do we keep pushing them off? Because all of us yeah. If we're honest with ourselves, we've been there. Yeah. God gives you a specific instruction. Yes. Or you read something from the word of God and you know I need to do this. Mm. But you keep putting it off and you keep putting it off. Mm. And we always come with all sorts of justifications. Mm. Yeah. I think it's because of fear. Mm. We, we are afraid of walking into the unknown. Mm -hmm. One man that was obedient in the Bible, and I can use him, as an example to answer that question, I see, mm. is Abraham. Mm -hmm. The Lord called him, mm -hmm. said, go into a country that I'll show you. Yes. Go into a place that you have never been before. And the Bible says, by faith, Abraham walked out. Not knowing where he's going. Not knowing where he was going. I always wonder what conversation did he have with Sarah. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but God knows. <laughs> <laughs> mungu ameniongelesha. Yeah. Lakini siku hizi mtu akikwambia Mungu amekuongelesha you, you even doubt them. You doubt them. Yeah. yeah. So Abraham set out and mm. you see Abraham went by faith. Mm -hmm. Meaning fear was nowhere in his decision mm. to walk out. Yeah. Procrastination and fear and excuses mm. and all this manner of things it was not there when Abraham decided to walk out. Mm -hmm. So we do not launch out and do what the Lord is calling us to do, mm. or we keep pushing these ideas that we have, and we say tomorrow, 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 because yeah. we are afraid. Yeah. We are afraid. Either you are afraid, or you are just outrightly lazy. Mm. And the That's lazy person, aspect. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4 <laughs> says, the soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. Ooh. Can you imagine? Proverbs chapter 20 verse 4 says, The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will therefore seek the harvest and have nothing. Nothing, because he never planted. He never planted. And that's the other thing. I yes. see, and I think it connects with what you said earlier. Yes. Yeah. Because the Bible says there's a time for everything under the sun. Uh -huh. And so if you procrastinate and you don't plant during the planting season, Yeah. When the harvest season comes, yes. other people will be harvesting, but you will have nothing to you harvest. You have nothing to eat. And it's very easy then to say, mm. God has neglected me. Can you imagine? God has forgotten Can you me. imagine? Most w of yeah. these children. <laughs> Which then begs the question, mm. could it be that sometimes we miss out on the blessing of God? Yes. Because we fail to do what we needed to do at the time at we needed moment. to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely, and you cannot withdraw mm. from a place you never deposited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I see procrastination even in marriages. Mm. Apology is postponed until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, I'll not talk to him today. No, I'll not talk to her today. Mm. I'll talk to her tomorrow. Mm. So we keep on pushing, we keep on pushing, and then what happens now when the time comes yeah. for withdrawal? Yeah, you go to the bank, and there is nothing. There's nothing to get out of it. Why? Okay. Because when others were planting, when others were sowing their seeds, mm -hmm. the Bible says, sow your seed in the morning. Yes. You know, cast out your seed in the uh, afternoon, in the, in the evening. But the Bible says that you do not know which one mm. will bring forth fruit. Yeah. Yeah. So always do what the Lord is, and I think that is the encouragement mm. you'll be giving people this morning. I see, I see yeah. even as we talk about this, what's mm. Because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some kind of con connection mm. with um, creating order. Yeah. There are people who are so scheduled. Mm. There are people who plan. Yes. And because they plan, then they do what they need to do at the time they at need the time to do they it. Should do it yeah. Because they've scheduled their life, mm. 
And uh, some of us look at that and they think it's so mechanical. Some of us want to be spa of the moment. Yes. When I feel the anointing is when I will do it. <laughs> when I am motivated, I will do it. Yeah. But the reality is many times we are not motivated to do what we need to do at the time we need to do it. Yeah. You know, so is it important for us to learn to schedule things and to plan things? Yes. You know, to have a plan of what you will do and when you will do it. Mm. I it? think it is mm. two things. Number one, God is a God of order. Mm -hmm. Do you know, it is so powerful because I read in the book of Revelation somewhere yeah. and I discovered that in heaven mm. there will be gates. Mm. Why gates in heaven? Mm. Because God is a God of order. Mm -hmm. People come in through this gate, mm. others are coming in through this gate, others are coming in through... There are gates in heaven. Mm. Why gates in heaven? Because where God is, there is There's order. order. Mm. And disorder also is the working of somebody in the midst of others. Mm. When you see disorder in the life of a person, it is because there are things in that person's life mm. that are bringing that kind of disorder. Okay. And the presence of God is not there. Okay. Because where there is disorder, mm. God is not involved. Mm. Yeah. Where there is disorder, where things are done indecently yeah. and not in order, the presence of God is not there. It's not there. And that is why you can come out of the service and you are so tired, mm. wondering what happened because there was no order even in the service. Yeah. Then number two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Number two, First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40, mm. says, But all things, including what you've been procrastinating, yeah. should be done decently mm -hmm. and, and in, in order. order. Yeah. Yeah. So as you plan your things, mm -hmm. become a person of order. Do things in order. Mm. Put order into it. And then you'll see the flow. You'll see the flow. Yes. God loves excellence. Things to overcome in 2023. Today we are overcoming procrastination. Claridge, you say, Padre, I've been procrastinating on getting my music certification by examination, piano and saxophone as instruments of choice. My friend, let's agree we are getting that done this year. Not even this year, as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Start working on it. Register for that exam. Get it done. Get it done. There was a question here. Mm -hmm. This one is saying, what if you feel God leading you to something, but the people close to you feel you shouldn't, yet because of circumstantial things? Me and my partner feel strongly led to settle down this year and trust God to bless what we have. But our parents feel we should do it next year so that we are able to have saved enough. Well, I think uh, there are two things in what you're saying. Mm. Parents are elders that have gone through much of what you've gone through. Mm. The best thing to do is to really look at what they are saying mm. and see whether they are doing it because of maybe of a nil motive or they are doing it because they simply love you and yeah. they are advising you. Yeah. They, they care about you. They care about yeah. you. So before you take that step, Mm. and move out and settle down. Mm. Consider what they are saying. Put yeah. into consideration. Yeah. Maybe call for a meeting and let them just pour their hearts mm. out. It could be more than they are saying you do it next year because they feel you have not saved enough. Mm. It could be more than that. But you need to find that, that out from them. But then I would also want to say that people should not stop you from doing what the Lord has told you to do. You to do. Yeah. And that is why we need to be very close to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The person of the Holy Spirit will always advise you. Yeah. Be close to him. Get close to him. He'll tell you whether this kind of advice is coming mm -hmm. from him through your parents. Because yeah. the blessings and the advices and the full counsel of mm -hmm. God sometimes is from God through people mm -hmm. to us. Very true. Sometimes it is always from God but through people to us. Because we are maybe, you, you could be in a place whereby the environment you are in and what is clouding your mind, mm. you are not able to hear God. So what does he do? He now gets other people that can talk to you. Mm. So he uses another line. So I think it's okay. Consider what they are saying. Sit down with them. Yeah. Be humble enough to call for a meeting and tell them, please talk to us. What, what, mm. what is it? And let them talk and, and hear them and then pray about it. And I believe the Lord. Because the Lord settling down, 
big, settling down is a, a big, big decision. It's a big decision. Yeah. And also settling down is the right thing. Yeah. It's the right thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Marriage is God's in institution and the Lord has blessed it. Mm. But then just sit down with them again and then make prayer and let the Lord lead you. Mm. In the I, right I, I like what, you, what you're saying. Yeah. And also just to, for me, when I read that message, mm. the parents are coming from a good place. Yes. They want the very best for you. The very best. They don't want you to start off with struggling, mm. especially mm. financially. Yes. So they're thinking about it. Yeah. But sometimes... Uh, <laughs> let me share a story to illustrate a point. Yes. There's one time my wife came and, mm. and, and she was telling me, you need to talk to your niece. Uh -huh. Because, man, her mom is worried. Yeah. She's in a relationship. Yeah. She is young. Yeah. You know, she needs to focus on this and this. It's not time for her to be in a relationship. Yeah. And so I asked my wife, how old is she again? I think by then she was uh, 23, 24. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, okay. Very young, yeah. And I asked my wife, how old were you when I met you? <laughs> and she started smiling. And I said, how old were we when we got married? Uh, I didn't have to say anything else. Yes. Yes. Because it brought some perspective. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My, pa my, my bishop's wife was telling us how... Yeah. Was it this year or late last year? Yes. You know, they were in the car coming to the office, and he looked, she looked at her husband, and she says, uh, "Your daughter is uh, your daughter is twenty. Your daughter just turned twenty three. Was it twenty uh three? -huh. Uh -huh. It was her, their daughter's birthday. Mm. Yeah, I think your daughter just turned twenty three, and she's getting married in the next uh, was it six days? Oh Lord! And the man of God was so shocked." thinking, what do you mean she's getting married? In and she list. hasn't talked to me and I don't know the guy. <laughs> and, and the wife was smiling and the wife said, mm. that's what we did. Oh, Lord. That's what we did. Yes. Yes. I turned 23 and six days later we got married. My goodness. So when we look at our daughter now, we feel like she is young. She's doing the wrong thing. Yeah. So maybe you should ask your parents to tell you their story. <laughs> How yes. did they meet? Yes. How are they financially when they got married? Did they listen to their parents? You will not? just see them smiling, <laughs> I'm telling you. You will see them smiling. Absolutely. Yes. A couple wow. of people sending in messages on areas where they're procrastinating. Mm. Uh, starting a business. Mm. I see those who have closed and tell myself these days it's hard. Mm. God help me and increase my faith. Mm. Mm. Alexi, you say I've been putting off writing a book. Hmm. You're not alone. You're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> These days, there are many people who lie in order to procrastinate what they promised to do. And lying among Kenyans has become the order of the day. Pastor, mm -hmm. can you please flesh out the connection between procrastination, excuses, and lies? That's a good one. Wow. What do you have to say to that, Percy? Yeah, these people, uh, these days, people give excuses. They lie. <laughs> <laughs> they lie about something they yes. should have done. Yes. And of course, that bugs failure. It is true. What, what, mm. what John is saying is true. There is a great co connection between, you know, procrastination, excuses, and, and lies. lies. It's one thing. Yeah. It's one thing. Of course, coupled up with a lot of fear. <laughs> yes. And the one we can look to that will never lie, will never procrastinate blessing us, mm. will never have an excuse why not to bless us, is the Lord. And, and we shouldn't just look at people and what they do and what they say. Yeah. We should look to the Lord because the Lord, his promises are yes and amen. Mm. And of course, there is a great connection. Anybody that procrastinates to do a good thing, mm -hmm. they are not just doing it because they are afraid. They are also doing it because they are lying. Maybe yeah. they are lying. Yeah. They are also doing it because they have an excuse not to do it. And so the Lord is calling us to overcome all these vices. Mm -hmm. Because all these vices, the enemy uses them yeah. to delay us. Mm -hmm. You know, First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 would talk about flee from sexual error. I'm using mm -hmm. it to explain something mm -hmm. still on what he has asked. Mm -hmm. Flee from sexual error. Mm -hmm. But then James, I think chapter 5, talks about resist the devil yeah. and, he, and will he will flee, flee from you. Are you from you? And my question, the question I beg to ask is what you flee from mm. and what you stand to negotiate and resist, mm. what is more stronger? It is actually what you flee, what from. You flee from. But now between the devil and sexual immorality, 
in essence, who is much more stronger. Mm. It is the devil. But now the devil stands behind those things and these vices mm -hmm. that he has released upon believers, mm. stands behind them and empowers them. Because the devil knows that if he comes to you face to face, you will not even talk to him. Mm. And he knows that the Lord told you to resist him yeah. and he will flee. So he uses those things that are more... Yeah, mm. they, he's more powerful than them, but then he walks behind them like yeah. a dragon, yeah. and then he uses them. And the reason why the enemy uses procrastination, mm. lies, excuses, mm. and feeling like you're a failure, so you stay at the, at the place of failure, is because the only ultimate reason mm. is because he wants to delay you from fulfilling destiny, yeah. and he wants to delay the promises of God mm -hmm. from coming to pass. I said here the other day that the promises of God are yes mm -hmm. and, amen. and amen. So God comes to you, gives a promise, and says, this is my promise mm -hmm. to you, and then he walks into the future in the fulfillment of that promise, mm -hmm. and he says, amen. Then he comes back to where he told you, this is my promise, mm -hmm. and now he tells you, my presence will go with you walk through with you through the process so that you can get to the fulfillment of the promise I've given you. Yeah. But the enemy sees that and comes in between and causes you to procrastinate the things that you should do, the steps that you must make mm. so that then you can climb up and fulfill your destiny. Today mm. is the day of doing what you have been saying that you're going to do. Wow. No, but see, the truth is, the mm. reality is, many of us have good intentions. Yes, absolutely. A lot of good intentions. Mm. Mm. But there's somebody who said, yeah. Good intentions never got anything done. They never got anything done. Yes. Yeah. How do we break free from procrastination? From procrastination. Yes. It is by faith. Mm -hmm. It is by looking at what God has told you mm -hmm. and believing in what he has said. Mm -hmm. Faith is believing those things that are not mm -hmm. as though they are yeah. and so they become. So the number one thing you do you need to have faith in what God promised you. Mm -hmm. When you believe in it, then you do it because that is what any impression you have yeah. as a child of God. Be very careful. Even the ideas you get of doing a particular thing, mm -hmm. that idea is from the Lord because mm -hmm. God is always speaking. In the spiritual realm, God is always, even now, he's talking to you. Mm -hmm. But are you in a place of faith whereby you can hear him and whereby you can do what he has told you to do. Mm. So, number one is by faith. Number two is just look at your goals and, soothe and, s and see those things that are doable mm. and begin to do them. Mm. Yeah. Look at, look at your goals. Look at what you need to do yeah. and then do what you can. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you mention gold, mm. goals, yeah. I thought of the way we are always told about smart goals. Yes. You know, and one of the things there is that uh, they have to be time bound. Yes. Could it be that sometimes you don't get things done because we don't put a date to it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because I, I, I remember for me when, before I got married, yes. we had to sit down and decide a date. Yes. We went to see a couple, a couple yeah. friend of ours. Yeah. They had gotten married. Yes. Uh, this is a lady I knew. Mm -hmm. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. She ended up marrying a pastor. And mm -hmm. so we thought, well, how on a tour? Mm. So they invited us to their place. I still remember yeah. Upper St. John's Pumwani. By, yes. that, by then, the, 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 the husband was uh, pastoring there. Yes. So we went, spent the night at their place, and we had a long chat. Uh -huh. And I remember one of the things they asked us is, so you guys, you're serious, you want to get married? And we said yes. Mm. They asked us, have you set a date? And we said no. They said that you're not serious. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't yeah. said a date, you will never get it. You'll done. never get it. Yes, done. because mm. other things will keep coming mm. that will keep making you think maybe later, maybe later, maybe, maybe later. later. Yeah. So they told us, put a date and start working towards yes. that date. Yes. And yes. I think sometimes when it comes to procrastination, we mm. don't do that. We don't do that. Yeah, we don't put a date to something. Yeah. And so there's always an excuse not to do it mm. now. Mm. Because mm. I had not set a deadline for this thing. Yeah. So any day... Yeah. Even next year in Sawa too. Yes. Even two years from here. Yes. Bora tunda ifanya. Bora tunda ifanya. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 11.4. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes 11.4 says, you know, he who observes the wind mm -hmm. will not sow. Mm -hmm. And he who regards the clouds will not reap. Will not reap. And yes. there's a whole lesson on procrastination right there. Yes. 
he who observes the wind mm -hmm. will not so eh, nikipanda hii mbegu itachukuliwa yeah, itaenda <laughs> na upepo there is no way i'm so in this seat. yes there is no way i'm putting my money into this project mm -hmm. if i do and the times are hard then mm -hmm. this thing mm -hmm. is going to fail if i go back to school and the times are hard yes. who will employ me wow. even if i do the best in this corruption mm -hmm. ravaged uh, mm -hmm. society mm -hmm. who will who will employ me but yeah. you are forgetting that god has charted your own mm -hmm. course and because others failed when they did not when they procrastinated and because others failed when they did what you should do does not mean that when you do what you should do yeah. you're also going to fail yeah yeah and that is why god speaks to us differently you see as we are seated here man of god and we are speaking uh, to all these dear friends that mm. are tuned in this morning mm. the message is going out to them as we are saying it mm -hmm. but there are so many people out there that are getting very many different interpretations very true. there can be 10 different people yes yeah. the, the message is the same yeah but if you ask them what what, what was the discussion and the and the i mean the the, the, the show in the mm. morning what was it about john 316 on that friday when they were talking about procrastination mm. they'll give you different, different views yes different views that is why now then you need to do what God is telling you to do mm. because what he's telling you to do is not what he told the other person to do. Mm -hmm. So when you postpone because you are looking at others, it means that then you will delay the promises of God, God. in your life. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. You will delay the promises of God in your life. That's a yes. big one. Yes. So we could be crying out to God and God is thinking, get that done. Yeah. God get is saying, that go done. Ahead. That will happen. That one. And imagine God is pointing at 11 things or 15 things in your life and saying, for you to have this, mm. you need to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 15. You've not yet done them. Yeah. Yeah. Because those are the keys. Yes. I, see, I see acting by faith against procrastination as a key, as a key. into this big door. Mm -hmm. And when you open it, voila, mm. you know, all these treasures yes. that the Lord has kept you there for yes. them, for, kept there for, for you. you. So you need to just open the door and walk in and get your blessings. Wow. And then you begin to count them one by one. Wow. And bless the Lord for what he has done. Awesome. Amen. I see our time is almost coming to an end. Yes. Sir. How would you wrap up this week? This whole week? My goodness. I think when the Lord gave you these mm. uh, topics of this week, overcome the things we must overcome in the year 2023, mm. he gave you one topic that had so many channels mm -hmm. of helping God's people. Mm -hmm. Because when I look at procrastination, there is fear in there. We yes. talked about fear on yes. Monday. When you look at excuses, there, there is procrastination mm -hmm. in there. So it's like everything intertwines itself in everything. Yeah. When you look at failure, we spoke about failure mm. yesterday. There is discouragement which we spoke about on Wednesday. Yes. And I believe that this week has been a blessing to so many people. Mm. But this is what I would want to say. Go back and listen to this broadcast. Mm -hmm. When you listen, the Bible says that faith comes by, by hearing, hearing and hearing mm. the word of God. Hear again, listen again, listen again. And as you listen to what God is saying to mm. you, even of what we've discussed this week, you're going to be helped. God is going to cause you to overcome fear. You're going to have no excuse. Yes. You're, going, you're not going to be discouraged because you know already the Lord has spoken. You will not have any failure mm. surrounding you. And then you will do what the Lord is calling you to do mm. now. This is the day of salvation. Very true. Amen. Awesome. Pasi, yes, I want to be the one to pray today. Praise God. Please pray yes. for us, man of God. <laughs> and pray for me as well. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let's pray. Amen. Our dear Heavenly Father, it's been an amazing week. Mm. So many things mm. we have learned. Mm. So many things to think about. Yes. So many things we need to do. Mm. Father, I want to thank you for those who have texted in this morning, mm -hmm. sharing with us areas where they have been procrastinating. Mm -hmm. I thank you because I know you have already given us the power to break free mm -hmm. from the stronghold of procrastination in our lives. Mm -hmm. And Lord, you have called us to go forth and to do, to walk in obedience mm -hmm. and not to walk in delayed obedience, for delayed obedience is disobedience. I pray that each one of us will make the resolve in our hearts to get done what we need to get done. And my Father, we shall not put it off any longer mm -hmm. because the promise we have is of now. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 may we act on it. That Lord, we may unlock the doors that have been locked in our lives 
because of procrastinating. I thank you for your servant, mm. for his diligence to be here every morning this week, mm. to speak into our lives, Jehovah God, to challenge us and to encourage us. I pray for him mm. and the work that he is doing, Jehovah God, yes. my father, may you continue to lift him up. Jesus. May you continue to give him wisdom and yes. insight, yes. even as he breaks the word down mm. for people to mm. hear and understand. Yes, Let the anointing, O oh God, mm. to teach this word, my Father, increase mm. even in his life, mm. in the name of Jesus. I thank you for his family, Lord. Mm. Speak a blessing over them, Jehovah mm. God. Mm. That, Lord, indeed, you are binding them together with mm. cords of love that cannot be broken. You're mm. watching over them. Mm. You're providing for them, Lord. Yes. You're keeping in them in divine peace and health yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Father, Jesus. Lord, even the plans that they have for 2023, yes. we thank you because you have already gone before them. Thank the you. work that he is doing in the church, oh mm. God, mm. the vision you have given him, my Father, thank you, thank you that, Lord, when you give a vision, you also provide for the vision. Yes. Provision. Mm. Lord, I declare provision in over the, the vision. Of Jesus. I pray, my Father, that, Lord, indeed, even mm. that which they have set to achieve for you this year, mm. it shall be done for the glory yes. and honor of your name. Yes. I thank you for everybody who's a partner with Family Media. Yes. Father, Lord, I thank you that mm. even as we continue to keep Jesus on the airwaves, mm. you are being glorified. And mm. many are mm. coming into the kingdom. So, yes, Lord, we Lord. thank you. Mm. Abba, Father, we give you praise and we mm. bless your name. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 To God, your Santi Sana. Thank you so much for seeing. We, you have really blessed us and Praise challenged God. us this week. Praise thank God. God for you. Thank you so much. Amen. I'm so glad to have been here. Yes. Looking forward for some other time. Amen. As the Lord will allow. As the Lord will allow. Yes. As Santi Sana. Thank you so, so We are out of time, my friend. Overcome. Overcome fear. Overcome procrastination. Overcome all these excuses and failures and things the enemy is using to hold us back. God has already released a blessing. All you need to do is to break free. Mm. You know, break free. Mm. Have you ever, I don't know whether you've ever, if you've ever kept dogs. We used to keep dogs. I grew up with dogs. You know, and, 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 and you would keep them in chains the whole day. What, what, so they would be in chains. Yeah. I remember in the evening when we would go yeah. back home and you set the dog free. Oh my uh. goodness. <laughs> it would run all over the compound. Yeah. Man, go. It's like, finally, Lord, I am free. Yeah. And I feel for some of us, procrastination is that chain. Yeah. Fear is that chain. Yes. You know, Jesus. failure is that chain. All these things we've talked about, discouragement yes. is that chain. You're trying yes. to move, it's holding you back. Yes. May that chain be broken. Be broken. May you be with such joy. Amen. I used to have a dog called Mafia. Wow. <laughs> it was a brown dog. <laughs> Oh, a serious animal. Yeah. And every time I talk about our dogs, I think about mafia. Wow. We wow. had another one called Caius. Uh -huh. hey, my, I don't know where my dad used to get these dogs. <laughs> what? Yeah. Caius was a huge dog. I can't even wow. remember what breed it was. Wow. That one, Mkifunguli at Msifunge Gate. Hey. It would jump over the gate. Are you serious? It was the kind of dog that would come up in the neighborhood and everybody would scatter. But wow. it was such a friendly dog. Wow. Yes. Wow. So I have that picture in my, in my mind of how they would just, yeah. phew, yeah. may that be you Praise in 2023. Mm. That all these things are not holding you back because in God Jesus has delivered you. Amen. Aya, nikukumbushe ni Friday. Friday ni siku ya toa ndugu toa dada. Ulicho nacho wewe. This Friday, I want to encourage you to give towards this ministry. Yeah. Because we depend on your support to keep Jesus on the airwaves. There's a lot of work we need to do. Mm. We need to go deeper. One of the desires our MD has is to have more local programs, mm -hmm. more local productions. Local programming is expensive. Really what? Expensive. We want to do more of that. If you watch Family, you realize we get quite a lot of our content mm -hmm. from other countries, especially from the West. But we need to dig in deeper, and we need to come up with more local productions. But that takes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I'm encouraging you. Keep partnering with us. If you're not a partner with Family Media, consider being a partner with us in this year, 2023. Mm -hmm. Whatever God allows you to send our way, send it. I can guarantee you it will be put to good use. Mpesa pay bill number 316-316, account name, TBN Family Media. Whatever you can send our way, send our way. In the coming hour, we are getting into Mindshift Friday. Interesting conversation today. Petraki versus feminism. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new, fresh content every day. Stay tuned and enjoy 
Fresh, uplifting content. 